All right, number one, what is work? So work is uh, a force applied over a distance that can cause energy change. So is a force applied, spelled correctly, over a distance that causes energy change. And there's three main parts to this. So it's a force <clears throat> applied over a distance that causes energy change. <clears throat> and <clears throat> we're going to talk about later uh, energy later this unit. <clears throat> but for right now, we just need kind of a simple definition of energy. Um, energy... Is what an object has that enables it to do stuff. There you go. Really nice sciencey definition to start you off. It's what an object has in order to enabling it to do stuff. Okay. So, for example, when I talk about changing in energy, I mean when you do work on an object, it should be able to do more stuff or it should be able to do less stuff. It has to do some change. So if it can't do more than it's already doing, then it doesn't change energy and therefore work is not done. But if it does change energy, it can do more stuff um, than it is having work done. So you have to have those three things. Um, the first two are very easy to determine, and so we'll usually just use those two. Um, but the third one is kind of the kicker, and that one's kind of tricky at times. Okay, the equation, very simple, W equals FT. The unit is joules. It's J-O-U-L-E-S, not J-E-W-E-L-S. It's, it's, not, it's, not it's not jewels as in like diamonds. Okay. It's jewels as in the dude jewels. There's a guy it's named after. Huh? No. All right. Last thing I should mention is that F and D must be parallel. F and D have to be parallel, which means F and D have to either be in the same direction or they have to be in opposite directions. If they're at an angle, you could figure out the forward motion or the backwards motion, but really what they can't be is perpendicular. They can't be perpendicular to each other. Um, the reason for this is this is the easy version of the equation. The real version of the equation is slightly more complicated, and it requires them to be parallel, not perpendicular. So you have to be kind of careful when you're figuring these out. So I want you guys to try number two on your own here. For each example, decide if work is being done on the object and explain why or why not. So bodybuilder lifting a thousand pounds above his head, bodybuilder holding a thousand pounds above his head, gravity acting on the moon as it orbits the earth. So which of those is work being done and which of those is work not being done? So remember, work has to be a force, has to move a distance, has to cause an energy change. Okay, so see if you can figure out which of those would and would not be work. Okay, take a minute here and answer that for me. <coughs> So which of those 
is doing work, which of those is not. Okay, yes, they're doing work. Why makes you say that? Because he's, um, like, the force is him putting the, like, moving the weight, and the distance is putting it above his head. Yep. And that does change energy. So um, it would hurt more to drop it on your foot when it's higher than when it's lower. So it has more energy to do stuff um, when it's higher than when it's lower. So yes. So force applied. Distance moved. Energy changed. So it did all three of those things. And it has to do all three of them. Okay? So let's take a swing at B. Cannon. Nah. Okay, why not? This is not nah because even though the force, I guess you could argue, is pulling down from gravity, there is no distance sure. because he's just holding it. Yeah, so... Um, He's applying a force against gravity. Gravity's pulling it down, so there is a force. Um, but he's not moving it a distance. So because he doesn't move it a distance, um, there's no, um, there's no, yeah, you have to have a distance. There isn't one. So just like... Um, Momentum required a velocity to have momentum. This requires a distance to move to have work. All right, last one. Who wants to try to stab at C? Lisa, what do you think? Um, I have a question, but I think it's no. Okay, what makes you say no? Correct. The energy does not change as the moon goes around the earth. So here's the moon. Here's the earth. Moon goes around the earth. The moon is always the same distance away. The amount of energy the moon has never, ever changes. It's the same energy all the time. So while there is a force applied and there is a distance traveled, the energy doesn't change. And so because the energy doesn't change, there can't be any work done. So you have to do all three. So there is a force, there is a distance. The other thing you can mention about this one too is the force and the distance are perpendicular, not parallel. See, the force is towards the earth and the distance is forward. But that's why the energy doesn't change. The energy doesn't change because those two things are in the wrong directions. Okay? Questions there on the examples? Looks like so far so good. All right, what's the difference between positive and negative work? So the difference between positive and negative work, positive work, Positive work, F and D are the same direction. And negative work, F and D are opposite directions. Positive and negative work is different than every other positive and negative we've done. So positive and negative velocity is, are you going forwards or backwards? Positive and negative force is, are you pushing forwards or backwards? Positive or negative acceleration is, are you changing your motion forwards or backwards? This one is not like that. You can go backwards and have positive work. It's, it's dependent on the force and the distance. If the force and the distance are in the same direction, it's positive. 
if the force and the distance are opposite directions, it's negative. And again, that has to do with the fact that the equation I gave you is the simple version. In the more complicated version, that's where the direction comes out. So we just decide based on what's going on. what no because last semester it was based off of forward and backwards this this does not depend on forwards and backwards it depends on the relationship between f and d no you'll be fine all right flip to the back all right i want you all to do four all right Work done to lift a box yeah. into the air. Anthony, tell me, what is that, positive or negative work? Positive. Yes. So it is positive work. F and D are in the same direction. All right, Grady, what about B, the work done by the brakes to stop the car? Yes, that one is negative because F and D are opposite directions. The force is back and the distance is forwards. So the car is going forwards, but the force acting on the car, the brakes, is backwards. So that would be negative work. Okay, uh, Rexton, what about C, the work you do to kick a ball? Yeah, so the ball will move forward and you're gonna apply a force forward, so F and D are in the same direction. All right, and D, Liliana, what about D? The work gravity does pulling an acorn down. What makes you say negative? Yes, this one is positive because gravity's down, but so is the distance. So this one is positive also. Yes. Correct. If you threw the ball up, gravity would do negative work. But because the ball is going, or in this case, the acorn is going down, um, it's doing. So it's falling down. The gravity force is also down, so they're in the same direction. If you threw it up, it would be negative. Yeah. Are you talking about C? Yeah. Um, it would depend on what the ball is doing, um, what direction it's going. So if it was going towards you and you kicked it, it would be negative work. But if it's going away from you and you kick it, it would be positive work. So it just depends on which way it's going. At rest, it's which way it goes after you kick it, which would be positive. All right, last one. Yep. So like for A? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't because we're looking for the work you do. So you don't care about gravity. Now, gravity does do work on that box also because gravity is a force and it's applied over a distance. But gravity would do negative work. So gravity would do work for A, but it would be negative work. Um, and then down here with D, if the acorn was going up, gravity would do negative work also, but it's going down, so it's positive work.